Okay, so this is probably the most asked question for me is the permanent state move. Now, when you have in your items box, when you have the cross state teleport, now this, as you can see in the little description below, your teleport is to a specific or location in the rival state during the SVS event. So this is not a permanent state teleport. You will need to buy a gold pack um, and it's only available once a month. All right, in order to move permanently um, from one state to another, you need to buy this gold pack. This is a permanent state teleport. In order to move to a different state permanently, you need to have this permanent teleport. So this is only available once a month, okay? Um, I am, in order to show you guys how to do a permanent state move, I am gonna purchase this and I will edit out the payment information after I click the get button. Even though um, I have a cross state teleport for the SVS event, if I wanted to move to another state right now, say I wanted to move to um, state six, enter state, and you see it's kind of hazed out, and I just click on an open spot, you can move your town here but can't camp here. But guess what? If I click move, this state is under protection because for one, you're, you don't have a permanent state teleport. And two, it's not the time to do the teleport because the game developers have set a time. All right, I'm not moving. Obviously, I know I can't. Um, but how do you find out when you can move once you've bought the gold pack? Well, you click over here. Um, in the events calendar, which is in the bottom left hand corner and You see all of the different events, but go down to the actual event calendar in the bottom left hand corner See the little red dot with a little calendar All right now um, It used to be at the very bottom so it's good that they've moved it up but it happens every Tuesday and it's that purple banner and you just click on it. Now, this event board shows the time that it's available and the states that are available to move. It says in the, in the title that the permanent state move is from state one to 61, but then it also says the next update so the next Tuesday, what states will be available. So currently, tomorrow, starting the 19th, you will be able to move between game time 600 and 2100. So we all live in different parts of the world. So the game developers chose to use UTC time to do that. And I'll explain that in just a second. But underneath is a description that here comes a chance to realize your immigration dreams so get ready to move to your ideal state permanently the next permanent state move is the next tuesday and it tells you what states are available so if you are in a state that's not listed that means that you are not able to permanently move to another state at this time keep checking this to see when it will be available you're in a state that's not listed as available to be the permanent state move but when you create a new account there's a buffer in there of either a few days or what reaching the town center level five and so if you move your town before you hit that max mark then you will be able to move it without paying for the permanent state move gold pack and um um, all of the other restrictions, which I'm going to go over. All right. So if you are doing that, if you are building farms, you need to move your town as soon as possible. Going back to the UTC time now, I'm going to click out of the event calendar 
and let's go to either, it doesn't matter if you want to be on your state screen or if you want to be in your town screen. How do you tell what time it is live right now UTC? Well, you look at your chat box at the top and in the bottom left-hand corner underneath a bubble that says how many chats there are, there's a little number currently right now at 1745. That means that's the current UTC time. So if you want to know when the state permanent state move is available, you go to your event calendar, click on that. It will start tomorrow at 600. So I live, oh, 600, excuse me. I live in Colorado and I, uh, oh, 600 for me since it's 17. Um, that's going to be uh, late at night here. So 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Seven hours because currently right now it is almost 11 a.m. here. So it is eight hours ahead of me. Um, the UTC time. Okay. So you need to figure out what time it is your local and then add whatever hours, um, eight hours to it or whatever um, to make sure that you are able to move your your town in order to get it over so right now if you click on the event calendar in the bottom left hand corner you'll see that the day for tuesday the 19th uh the actual date tuesday 119 and the whole uh, column below it is all highlighted and then you can see in the permanent state move purple banner, there's a red dot, which means that that particular event is currently active, right? So when you click on permanent state move, uh, you can move if you have bought that permanent state move gold pack uh, between UTC hours 6, uh, 0600 to 2100, all right? So... Currently, right now, it is between that time frame. And so that's why it's showing that it's active. I bought uh, four permanent state moves with this account. So let's try to move. All right. Now, I'm going to go to state view. And I'm going to click on the world at the top of our right-hand corner. And uh, let's just... Let's just click on... Let's click on state one. Let's enter state. Okay. Now I am just going to kind of finagle around here and look, see what's going on. Let's, let's take a look and see on their state map, um, who has what, right? Looks like the expendables or expandables have the majority of the state buildings all right let's just click in the middle of nowhere and let's try to move all right click move and it says that I have um, exceeded the upper limit of conveyable resources so please use up the extra resources at first before you can move so I have too much resources Remember earlier in my uh, video where I told you that you have to have a specific amount of resources. So let's go back and we're going to just dump all the resources that I have. Every last bit. And so transport them all. You never know with updates if the developers decide to change um, the rules of moving permanent state moves. Okay. All right. And so now I have to uh, dump all of the other resources that I have. So it's just going to take a few transports. 
All right, so I have dumped all of my resources, basic and growth, so it's well under the requirements. So I'm going to go back up to the world view, and I'm going to look down, and let's try to enter the state again. All right. I'm just going to come over here somewhere and close to the main capitol building and try to move. Now... It says that I have permanent state move and I can use one ticket. So I'm going to use one of those because I have, I have four, but I can only use one. And underneath it says my force rank in the target state will be 1,458. All right. So if you're, if you're going to be in the top 150, it's going to cost more, um, and it will uh, only require me one teleport item to do so because I'm way below 150 in their state. So I'm going to use one. And guess what? I'm still in alliance. So I can't use that permanent state teleport item. So in order to transport, I also need to leave the alliance. So I'm going to go down to manage leave my alliance, click OK, and I should be able to teleport over there. So let's click, move, use one coordinate. Be warned if there are enemies marching towards your town, they will arrive once you move. So let's teleport now. So now this farm account that I have is now a member of state one, All right? Now, just for kicks and giggles, I don't know if this is uh, something that I am able to do, but I'm going to uh, try to use one of my state teleports to go back. So I'm going to click on the state that I was just in. And this is where I was before. I'm going to click on that open part. I'm going to move. And it says that my force rank is going to then be uh, 3,563 and it will take one teleport item. I'm using it and okay. So I've come back and I'm now back to the state that I was. Now, if you don't want to spend money to um get multiple state teleports, which I, if you're going to move states, you don't have to um, buy multiple state teleports like I did. Um, I only did that so that I can move from one state to another to show you how it's done, but I knew I was going to come back. And I wanted to make sure that I could come back within moving short time. So basically, I just spent $25 to show you guys that it can be done and how to do a permanent state move. Now, let's review. When you are moving to another state, make sure you go to the state calendar or the event calendar and make sure that you know when the permanent state move is available, right? Uh, even though right now it looks like um, uh, it's available from 6 a.m. or 6 a.m. UTC to 2100 um, UTC, um, the little red dot's gone because I've used that already in this account. Now remember, if you're a state that is above 63, um, you won't be able to use the permanent state move until your state becomes available to have move. And the reason is th the game developers need to keep accounts in the newer states. They don't want to give it, open it up for people to leave uh, so they keep accounts in there. The only time you can move when you are fresh and brand new in an account is as soon as you can or until you're TC5 and then you're you're stuck in that state. 
until it becomes available for permanent state move. Now, number two, you need to buy that gold pack that includes a permanent state move. But remember, the more, the bigger you are in force, the more it's going to cost that permanent state move teleport item. Three, you need to dump all of your resources because you cannot transport over with resources. All right? And then once you move over to the new state, join the join the alliance that you would like to and you're good to go. So if you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them in the um, comments section. I would be happy to answer those for you. Hopefully this helped all of you with uh, how to do a permanent state move. If you have any uh, suggestions or anything, other questions, I'm happy to help you out. Uh, please like and subscribe if you enjoy these videos and I'll talk to you later. You guys stay positive. All right.